If you are afraid of small confined spaces, or perhaps you hate the exact year 1643, then this game is not for you. Turn away right now. In Claustrophobia 1643, one player controls a group of undesirable humans trying to escape while the other player plays an almost unending group of hellish, evil creatures. Will the humans make it out in time and escape, or will the troglodytes have human heart on their dinner menu tonight? Stay tuned, because this is Claustrophobia 1643. Or is it, or is it 42? Uh, welcome back to the Tabletop Nights. I'm Jeff and this is Victor. And today we'll be giving Claustrophobia 1648 or something. 1643 ago. 48's the version they're going to release in five years. So. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, this is a two-player only game. Yeah. Um, so I, today I'm going to be playing as the Troglodytes. And I'm the good guys. Yeah. You're, well... Well, it's debatable whether they're that good since they're human beings with a criminal record. Yeah, so what's the story? We open up some sort of portal. Yeah, so for those who aren't familiar, the backstory is actually quite interesting in this. I, th I quite enjoyed reading the fluff of this um, game. So humans discovered a portal to hell and they invaded hell as successfully. Apparently the demons hate each other and they're too busy squabbling amongst their own petty differences to stop the humans. Humans have established a colony in hell and this game takes place in the caverns beneath the colony where there's, you know, roving bands of demons sort of trying to do various nefarious things to the humans above. So it's pretty cool. I like the story. Yeah, sure. so what happens, what Victor's humans are, they're actually convicts that have, um, you know, they can have their sentence repealed basically if they go down and fight for humanity beneath the city. Um, so his leader is called the Redeemer because he leads these guys to try and redeem themselves. And he has, uh, yeah, three other followers with him. So, so a condemned brute and two condemned scouts. Yeah. So I can mainly off. summon troglodytes, a couple of hellhounds. And in this um, scenario, my special um, uh, troglodyte is called the hunter. Yeah. Yeah. And my goal is just to escape. Yes. So if I escape with two guys, I yes. win. Ah, uh, that's correct. Escape with one, it's a draw. Escape with none, you win. Correct. Yeah. So we did play this a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and test. only only lost just like yeah. I was pretty close to getting out, but uh, you know we'll see how we go. I got unlucky there a few times as well. So there is a little bit also of last time we played, I blatantly cheated by accident. Yeah, by, <laughs> yeah. Uh, by accident. So keep an eye out for any rules goofs and let us know because we do yeah, plan yeah. on playing a few more games of this yeah. if we can. Yeah. So what scenario we're doing? We just um, so we're doing the first scenario, which is just called the s survivors. Okay. Cool. So the idea is just you're you're in the pit. You've done what you need to do. So you're trying to get out. Yeah. Um, so what Victor will do is he'll continuously move towards the exit, which is marked by yeah, that was it, yeah. this thing, right? Yeah. Um, he'll continuously move towards which the exit. Which is like a gust of wind yeah. telling me where to go, which changes sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so if, he, if Victor moves in that direction, he'll move up the um, counter over there. Yeah. And once it gets to 10, he spawns the exit tile. He can go off in other directions. We... Couldn't really figure out if there was much point to that, but maybe there will be, depending on how the map spans out. So, yeah, you could get... If you just started being unlucky on your side and you just started drawing four, 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 then I can branch off and really yeah. separate your enemies as well and hope that the exit's really easy to reach. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because there might be some dead ends as well, so I might have to, to Backtrack make sure... Backtrack yeah, so yep. forth. Yep. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, make sure, again, um, if you're new here, let us know... What sort of games you like to see in the comments? Also, give us a like and a subscribe if you're not already. We always appreciate it, absolutely. All right. Who goes first? You go Me. first, my friend. So I roll these four. Yep. I cannot see what I've done. It is a six, five... Uh, six and three. You know what? We won't roll these small dice. We'll just roll the, the big ones. In so, there? Yeah, because yep, you can't sure. really see the small ones. Okay. All right. So we'll do a little bit of that action. So what Victor's doing well, um, is he's just picking which slot the dice goes in. So if you roll a one, you can put it in the first slot. If you roll a three, you put it in the third slot and so on. Um, depending on what slot he chooses, his uh, characters will have different attack or move abilities and different defense numbers. 
and possibly um, some special bonuses as well. Yeah. So I did get lucky there, um, I feel. All right, so um, my first move can just basically yeah. be spawning some tiles. If there's nowhere for you to spawn, then uh, no empty tiles you can't spawn, right? Uh, correct. At least early on. It's very, very difficult, yes. All right, so we'll go uh, with the Redeemer first. So I'm actually moving two. So we'll move uh, one. Yep. <laughs> tiles so, are over there. Tiles are over here. <laughs> Okay, there's no special effect on that tile, Ooh, but it's just looks, a straight corridor. Looks meaty. So I move the breath of fresh air towards and, the exit. And we'll go two, one more. Maximum speed. Okay, we do have some sort of specialness on that. I will consult the book of rules yeah. to see what number 13 means. So number 13, there's we found in the test run of this game that there was no positives for me. <laughs> like there were, sometimes there's a tile with a chest. Doesn't help me whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a flooded tunnel. When a warrior enters this tile, they must immediately end their movement, even if they have movement points left. Leaving this tile will cost a warrior their full movement points for the turn. So, but if I'm only using one, it still costs one anyway. Correct. Yeah. Cool. That's not too bad. So it potentially no slows you down just a little bit. No damage will be dealt to me. All right. I will then go with my Condemned Brute, who will move... Uh, which one's he? He's a big axe man. He'll go one. So the Condemned Brute's like a tank. He can defend other guys. Uh, does this go there? No, it's damage only. Yes, right. yeah, yeah. Yep. So can, once, feel once free I, to put as much damage on your guys as you like, Victor. I'm so, cool with that. So once you get hit, this damage token here will replace one of these moves. Correct. So what it does is if you take damage, it blocks that... Um, line. Yeah. So if you put a dice there, you just get like a generic, very weak action, but yeah. you can't really yeah. do anything. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, he's moved one, and uh, he actually gets to draw a card as well. So do I draw one or two and pick one? You just draw one. One. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. And then this character will move uh, one as well. Actually, you know what? This guy will stay back, and he'll so he won't move at all. But I still get a card. Yep. Cool. And your action can be to equip the blunderbuss if you like. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yep. requires an action, which is. Oh common. yes, I'll do that yep. now. Well, I'll just put. I'll leave it on him because I don't want to yeah, take up yeah. sweet valuable space. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a weird rule because you're obviously just going to equip it the yeah. first turn. Yes. Like so he's staying still, this guy, but he does get a card, and then this guy will move up one. Yep. And he'll also get a card. So just remember, Victor, that the cards aren't separate for each character. They form oh, a okay. group hand. Uh, and your hand limit's four. Okay, beautiful. Yep. Well, that was a pretty good start. Like three. Getting three cards <laughs> straight up is an yeah, awesome cause... start. Because what those cards allow you to do, and you'll see as we play a little bit, but you can use them and either choose to change the dice result or get an extra power, and yeah. the effects are pretty good. And being able to change the dice is great when you roll something horrible you don't want. So when do I do this? I roll, and then... And then you choose to play cards. But of course, we skipped that in the first turn. Yeah. You didn't actually have any. So there. you've got to actually choose before. So if I have a card, just for example, that modifies an attack, and I put that on my thing uh, I, I equip it I use it and then if I am unlucky and actually don't get to attack with that character that, that turn is just a waste yeah, yeah. True. so you have that to decide happen. before you actually, you actually start moving yeah. that. Yep. All right. Uh, after you roll but before you start moving yeah, yeah. so that's my turn great okay so uh, it's my turn I am going to roll three dice now, yeah, on, now you said just do it in the yeah, table just yeah. big ones on, on that bit so what I do with my three dice as the bad guy, I allocate them to the powers on my board. Uh, and depending on what I choose to do, it does. Um, yeah. diff it might trigger immediately or I might stash that dice and build them up over time to get a more powerful effect. Okay. So you only rolled five value, right? Yeah. Uh, four. Oh, I rolled four total yeah. value, yeah. So what I'm going to do is... Build them up. Yeah. I'm going to... Um, put two in my abyssal threat um, and that doesn't matter what the values are just however many dice I put in there I get three um, prima materia which is gonna end up being six and that acts as a currency for me to summon guys with okay. the other one I put um, a two red in dark destiny so that allows me to draw um, the face value of the dice in cards so okay. I draw two cards beautiful um, We've got some stuff going some actions it starts off slow in the first two turns, but it quickly escalates. It does quickly escalate. Yeah. So I moved this down twice, don't I? Yes, actually, yes, we did figure yeah. to do that. So Good that on that. Uh, meter has gone down twice. It's pretty, 
I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, good start. I should move this too. Yeah, move the fresh air. I'm very lucky. There's Not only that I have one a choice, path. But well, now, if, but the thing is, I'm unlucky if this is a dead end. Then you have to go all the way back. But still, that doesn't undo these. No, it doesn't. No, because no. I only have to reveal ten tiles to find the exit. Yep. Well, what, what's stopping me from just going searching that tile, that tile, and that tile just to unlock three more? Oh, because you can only unlock them when you go where the so, fresh air okay. is. All right. That solves that. Now, <laughs> so after I after I um, resolve my dice, I can summon guys onto the board. Yeah. The problem is I can only summon them from an open corridor, so an unexplored ent entrance to a tile. That needs to have a its and own tile. And it needs well. to be empty of Victor's guys. Yeah. I do have abilities on my board that can let me ignore they're those restrictions, though. but they're very expensive. Yeah. So for the first turn, I just stockpiling so that when Victor does give me an opening, I've got plenty to do. But had I have moved this guy forward as well, you would have been able to spawn there. Correct. Yeah. Because you blocked all the squares for the first round, Yeah. Um, I can't summon. I can yeah. just build my power up. All right. My turn so I get all these back. All right. We've got some stuff going. So we'll go six, get another card. Five and three. Yeah, the picking's not very entertaining. I'll edit most of that out. Uh, all right. Um, so, so now you can play cards to yeah. modify if you like. Yeah, uh, I might have to read a few out for you. Um, what's Frenzied? Can you please find that out? So not saying that I have Frenzied. <laughs> <laughs> On the off chance Victor has the Frenzied card. Uh, <laughs> what that'll do is allow him, when he attacks, to re-roll any misses. Okay, cool. All right, so with this guy, I'll use all of my actions to go here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's another one. You want to move the track? Yeah. Oh, what were you just saying? Dead Damn. End. There is a treasure chest in this um, tile. <laughs> but <laughs> as we already looked up last time, there is no reward for treasure yes, in this scenario. It is pointless. Yep. All right. So the breath of fresh air will go back this way. You get the decide. All right. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> sucks for your leader, but the rest of your guys are well on their way. Well, I could always move them there and then just defend a well, little bit. Well, the thing is, I can't spawn here because there's no open oh, corridor. Okay. So yeah, it's not right the end on. of the world. All right. So, well, that means these guys don't have to actually um, climb through crap. So, the Condemned Scout, he'll go next. I won't go in order this time. Um, the Condemned Scout with his little shield will go one and then he'll go two. So, he'll move there. This is... Very, I think you've learned from last time. <laughs> Have I though? I think you're just un unlucky because uh, it's because this is a dead end, so you can't spawn yet. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, you can't spawn here either, can you? No, not at this stage. Yeah. Damn, that's unlucky for you. All right, so that's spawned. There's no special activities there. Nope. Um, this guy will go next, and he can move one, and then draws a card. Excellent. And then finally with uh, this guy with the axe, he'll just go one as well. And I could draw another card, but I have four, so I can't. Yep. Uh, that's my turn. Wow. i got not a lot to look forward to this time. So I've done five tiles already. Yeah, uh, four. Well, yeah. Yeah, because so yeah, yeah, like you start on one. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Off to a good start. So I'm almost, I'm almost halfway done. Yep. I should just start bolting towards the exit at this stage really yeah i mean eventually i'm going to be able to drop a heap of stuff on <laughs> you but it's not off not off to a great start all right what have i got there three so which one is the uh the one to spawn dudes in so i this is the spawn ignoring um so you need seven in there yeah okay. ignoring the fact that uh you've you've got guys in there and this is ignoring no entrances yeah okay i'm gonna just hedge my bets and place these around Oh, oh where's what? the wind? Where's the wind, by the way? Oh, yeah, cool. Um, let's have a go on that one. Yeah, beautiful. Might want to adjust the board a little bit. Oh. So I'm going to play Master of Destiny, actually. And I'm going to make um, this one here a three, so that I'm very close to triggering So that. does that one, you, you, do you still need a entrance? Yeah, so with this one here... Um, I still need an entrance, Speed. but I can ignore the fact yeah. that you've got guys yeah. in there. Cool. So that's currently up to six. When it gets to seven, it'll trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much next turn. <laughs> yeah. It's guaranteed. Yeah. 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 Um, I also put another di dice, a red dice, down in the frenzied creatures, so that'll give my troglodytes frenzy if it triggers. Okay. Sweet. It's time okay. for me to run. <laughs> yeah. You're making a break for it. Yeah, absolutely. I like my odds at the moment. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, so. Two, three, uh, two threes and a 
four. So I don't need any more cards. So I just need to start booking it. You know, I can use one of these to change a car, a uh, dice to. Yeah. So do I use this now? Well, you put the technically you put all your dice out, then you use the cards. But no, it doesn't okay. really matter. That's right. Just I'll do it in do whatever it. order you yeah. like. All right. So now I use this card, which changes it to a four. Like that. Yep. Um, and uh, I can use another card, can't I? Yep, you can use all four if you really yeah, like. This guy is really slow. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I will go. Uh, I will give him run. This warrior gains plus one. Yep. Cool. Move, and then uh, now I start things. So I can redraw cards now, can't I? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So the redeemer will go first. So he's moving for a whopping one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Again, I only need to get two guys out. So he's just having a casual swim in the pool. This guy. <laughs> Absolutely. So this guy will go next. Uh, he'll go one. I am reaching for the tile back. Yep. All right. We've got another T intersection. Yep. Beautiful. Nothing there. You want to make sure you move your tracker as well. Yeah. Where do you want to put the wind? Um. Oh, now if I put it there, it's easier for you to catch up. So That's true, actually. I'll put it there. Yeah. Well, sure in... once once we're not done with these areas, we'll take them off. Yeah. You know what I mean, like yeah. I'm never going to go back down here. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, and we've still got plenty of room. We've got like another two tiles of space here. All right. Uh, so that's one move, and then he'll go two move. Jeez, you're almost to the exit already. I am so close to the exit. As... Oh, so this looks. This is a trap room. Yeah, that's definitely something. Nice so that's to go the on, one yeah. where I think you do more damage to me if you attack me. While nah, I'm that in was here. the tentacle room. So okay. Oh the... yes. Yeah. All right. So it's like some sort of gas. Or yeah, something? it's it's like scratches. Fog. Oh, this is actually good for you. No. Oh. Sort of. Any warrior on this tile has defense of six. So that's not a bad place to sit. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, man. <laughs> yep. It also counts for me as well. It didn't say any warrior? Yeah, but my guy's considered warriors as well. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So that's him. So does he have a weapon? Which one is he? That's this guy. So he was able to move too. Yeah, they all, they all can. Yep. Um, this guy will go next and he'll move two as well. So he'll go one. Oh, the wind's over here now. Yeah. Yeah, it has to. Yeah. Two. That's that's lucky for the <laughs> for the game. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to move one and he's not going to do anything. Um, and then he's going to go one and You know, two. you can explore in here if you want. Nah, there's no point. Yeah. One, two. It's just giving you a closer spawn. Like if, if, if it goes there, it'll just be giving you a spawn. Yep. So I'll go there and then he also gets... Oh, he can only move one, but I gave him an extra one for the card. Cool. So he gets an extra draw of a card as well. Yep. yep. Cool. I'll roll my three dice. Um, oh, hold on. If there's seven tiles, one, two... Should not be on. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Excellent. All right. I'll take the frenzied. So what I'm doing is I'm taking three more bucks, um, two more cards. You've got to start making something happen, otherwise and I'm this is going to be a short video. Yeah. Or I'm triggering my frenzied ability. <laughs> I got to play this. This is classic. Uh, that's great. Kill one guy. <laughs> okay. So play this card during the threat phase. A human warrior of your choice who does not have the devoted talent immediately attacks another human warrior in the same tile. They cannot use their grenade or bodyguard talent. Okay, that's okay, not too so bad. Who's got the most defense going out of these two at the minute? Four and three. All right, so I'll get you. Wait, your, hold on. Three, yeah. I'll get you brute to attack the scout. So brute is attacking scout, so I roll three attack. Yep. And you hit on three plus. So, one. so that is one hit. So you place a skull in any line there. There. Yeah. That could have been worse for you. That, that could have been worse. I, I, it could have been three hits. Yeah, absolutely. I am going to now summon. So It's I'm, a must. <laughs> yeah. And I've got six health on each of these guys, apart from my Condemned Scout, which has got damage and he's got uh, five now. So I'm like, all I need to do is go for three tiles. So I'm going to summon a Hellhound. <clears throat> Now, when I summon a Hellhound, I grab a dice and I chuck it on the value I want and that represents its abilities. Yeah, so one is like moves quick and attacks weak. One uh, moves slow but attacks strong and yeah. then the other one's the middle of the both. 
So I'm going to take the strong attacking one because I think I need to get some damage on yeah, him. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then I'm going to summon how many troglodytes? So again, Hellhound only has one life. So if I kill it, he's gone. For good. I might actually summon both my Hellhounds. Here. And then I'll take seven troglodytes. <clears throat> Uh, maximum of uh, three. Oh, yeah, we've got to absorb. Ooh, yeah, that was close. Yeah, that's right. Though we don't want to be doing any rule mistakes. Yeah, that's so, right. But you can spawn here. Yes, correct. Yeah. Um. Put one there still. Let's go, Joe. <clears throat> so that was oh, six. I've right? said goodbye to this guy if you haven't, if you can't tell already. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't going to be living. <laughs> All right, so then I can move and attack with all of my guys. I'm just wondering if... Ooh. So you can spawn, then move and attack? Yeah. Wow. That is OP. Garbage. I am going to move with this guy. No, but that's all of them. So do you want to move with him first? Because you can't fit any more in here. Maximum of three. What? Well, because there can only be a maximum of three in here. It's so three for each side, though. Oh, okay. So I can have three. Right, guys, okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to move... Man, this is lucky because they're all threes. I'm so going to move like... two guys back to there. Oh, sorry, sorry. First I should do an attack with him. Yeah. So I'm going to suicide attack with him. Um, so that is attack and gain plus two. Um, I'm going to attack... Does he die though? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm going to, he, I'm going to uh, attack your scout. Three shields I've got. Yep, well, I get three attacks because of my um, suicide attack. So it's, it's two, two hits, hits. And I'll re-roll with my frenzy, the other one. Three so hits. Three hits. So I can put all of them on here? You can have as many as you like go on him. All right, so I will go... <clears throat> uh, one, two... Three. Cool. I'll then move my... So he's dead now. Yes, yep. sorry. Yes, he dies. Suicide attack style. All right, I'll then move... Oh, I've got to put another dice on here. What? Okay. So, yeah, this guy's the guy who's strong in attack. So he's going to move in, and he gets three attacks. He'll attack your scout again. Not yep. that it matters, because you can sort of allocate them wherever <laughs> you want, but... It's that's a, another three that's hits. Three hits. Wow. And it changes that quickly. <laughs> <This> <laughs> that was a good roll because I didn't even have frenzied on that one. Done. All right. And then my other hellhound will move in an attack. Now he's pretty weak in attack. From where he, he just gets one dice. This seems different to last time. I swore to God last time you spawned and then you didn't do anything else for that turn. No, you always get to move and attack. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. It just seemed weird. It just seems like it just didn't happen last time. Um, well, I sort of... Because I, I built up so much okay. that I got a big right. force in straight away. So that's another hit. Also, so you I'm only rolling, rolled one. Yeah. Oh. Also, I'm rolling godlike. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now these two troglodytes are going to go here. And these three will go up here. Oh, that's a pile occupation limit of one. Oh, jeez. That's, that's annoying, actually. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll just leave them where they are. That's all right. All right, my turn. It certainly is. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, and I already have moved that one. All right, so um, this guy can just leave because he ignores... Um, he, what, how it works is you can only leave if you have more equal to or more. Okay. Which is um, in this case. Yeah. Which in this case it is. Yeah. So your guy has evade, which allows him to leave regardless. Yeah. Um, but oh, okay. I, I also have in impressive, which cancels evade. Okay. But it, under normal circumstances, cause it's two V two, he can just leave. All right. Yeah. Cool. That's but uh, your brute can't, your brute is stuck cause he's impressed. Yeah. Two sixes, a two, and a one. So, he can't get two. He can't get six. Um, he can get five, though. And I 
do have a five. Luckily, so I'll put him <laughs> in a six spot. And then I will... You're not in too bad shape either because all these tiles have an occupation limit of three. So it's hard for me to actually pile in there and get you. Yeah, yeah. One, six, and two. Um, so do these guys have the thing where they can leave or um, your no, hellhound? Neither of my guys have a base. So if I keep him here, you have to kill him first. Uh, well, if you've got two guys there, I can still leave with oh, one okay. because I've got the equal amount. All right, so I'll use this guy. Um, so what does it do if it's just basic? Oh, so you put one of these tokens on top of it. And it tells you. So you just cover over the line. Oh, so it's just three yep. defense. And you <laughs> can't move or attack. Okay. And you oh, don't I've got to do it over every line. No, no, just, just you just put it down if you actually activate that line. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll use this card here. So I'll change that to a five. Don't forget you got one, you once per game heal too. Yeah, but is it at a distance or? Yeah, I think you can do it from anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. But do I have to use that line? No. Oh, okay. Um, well, I might as well do that then yeah. and activate a heal. Uh, hold on. The heal only goes on the square where you had the dice on it. Oh, yeah. but Okay, well, I'll wait for this guy's turn then. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'll do that instead then. That's what I was thinking. So instead of yeah. waste this card, I'll use the heal. Yep. So I'll, I'll move this guy first. I'll, do, I'll go one. Yep. And then I'll use the heal yep. that he has to heal this So one. how this ability works is you get um, a token of either plus two attack or plus one move. Yep. So which one did you want to take? I'll get the two attack. Yep. And then you can, if you're on a damage token, you heal it. So now you can remove that token yep, which that I did. blocked it. Yep. And now you get your full benefit of that action. All right. So he's gone. He's done nothing. Um Oh, I guess I should, probably should have played a card beforehand. You can still do it. Yeah, yeah I guess because I haven't That's activated no these deal. three. Yeah. All right. Um, I will go... I won't do anything, actually. Yep, cool. So he'll go for an attack on this guy. Yep. So which one are you going to go for? The one that's damaging or the one that's got impressive? Let's go impressive. Yep. Yeah. So which one's that? <laughs> That is... <laughs> it's hard to tell them apart, isn't yeah. it? That's the one closest to you. Okay, so it's uh, this one here. Yeah. Like that. All right, so I'm doing three attack. Yep. Let's hope I can roll like a god too. My defense is five. Oh, really? Holy yep. shit. The tanky guy is tanky. Oh, I went for the speed guy. The other way, you said the, the tanky guy or the... Yeah, so I've got a guy... The, my stats are basically one movement, one attack, oh, they're both and five the, defense. They're both the, okay. Or it's um, one movement, three attack, and four defense. Right, so he doesn't do anything. That's right. Um, this guy's going to... Okay, wait a second, I'm out of here. Um, otherwise, he can do three attack, and he's got the blunderbuss, this guy here. So I'll, I'll just flee with this guy. You can attack first before you run off. Okay, There's I'll no cost attack to a one. Yep. <laughs> and roll a one <laughs> yeah, but I get to draw a card as well yep with him yep cool and then he'll bail one he'll go which means I get six defense yeah true next turn and then this final guy he'll actually use his blunderbuss yep so he uh, gets plus one attack and he has three here so Jeez. it's doing four alright so who are you going well which who has the high defense the higher well, defense both is the, the, is the uh, guy with impressive okay, who I'll go stops for the, you from leaving. I'll go for the lower defense. Yeah. Oh, so did he stop me from leaving? No, because you've got... He would normally... Oh, but he cancelled each other you've out. got evade. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll go for the guy with lower. Yep. So, what's so that's four defense he's okay. got. So it's two. Two hits. So he's got one health left. Yep. Which is pretty good because once these hellhounds die, they can't come back. And then I will move the blunderbuss guy. One. Yep. And that's also another card. Oh, no. Oh. Dead end. What? This is just... Oh, okay, uh... the exit's over here now. Oh, no, it has to go back to the next closest oh, okay. possible one. Lucky. Sorry. Yeah, that would have been more cheats by me. <laughs> God damn. So you can't spawn a guy there, but yeah, you get to spawn there and then move in and hit. It's so overpowered. Like, it's so... 
Well, yeah, because the problem you had is because you blocked me for the first few rounds, like I built up a ton of money yeah, or yeah. whatever, and I just dropped my two best guys on you straight away. All right, and then... Um, Once you kill them, though, they can't come back, so... That's it, that's my turns. I did get four cards back. Did he just have one movement, or did he have... More? No, he only had one. Yeah, okay. yeah cool. That's it, that's me. All right. So, that would be my turn, then. All right, so these came off. The other thing is I've run out of dice now. So you've only got two dice to roll. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I actually have to roll three. It means I have to take oh, okay. the third one off here. That's which, right. which is another disadvantage of having both of these guys out at once. So that's actually pretty good for you. Well, I rolled awesome. That's nine. Yeah, the numbers don't necessarily matter that much though. But no, but if you do, if you want, if there was to say a passageway here, you could spawn. Yeah. Oh, and that goes up one. So I've only got two more tiles to reveal all right what do i want to do here be I careful though because i if, if this goes here and it's a dead end then i might have to <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be, it could be weird all right i'm gonna chuck two reds there and a white there so that gives me six dollars to spend nice um and then i get three cards all right so i'm going to play in the threat phase i'm going to play demonic rage Meaning demons and hellhounds gain frenzied. Okay. I'm going to summon my demon as well. Ooh. Um, oh. All right, so where can he actually go? Only here. That's cool. Uh, and I'll save the rest of these, I think. Okay, so what else can I do? I might as well move this guy into here <laughs> and take a swing so i got three shields hey <laughs> my rolling's been on fire this game cheating yep <laughs> I did use the broken dice that only roll sixes for me <laughs> uh, okay so then what is the movement on my guy he's got two movement yeah so he'll go one two this is hilarious <laughs> so he gains plus one attack for each wound on the enemy so he gets five attack on you. I got six defense. Yep, cool. So, so you have to roll all hits. That was an epic fail. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, but the thing is, I get frenzy as well, so I can re-roll misses. So that's, he's dead. Yeah. Did you have five defense? Six. Oh, okay, because I, I rolled two fives as oh, well. So, so he's, he's dead. He's I don't dead. even need to re-roll. Holy crap. It, you guys, are, they're so overpowered. Like the demons are super strong. That's, well, because but, but why you're, have you're, they made the game so unbalanced? But you're almost out. Yeah, I know, but that's, the, you it, know, it, a dead end or two. Apparently this game is a little bit harder to win with, the, with your side. So it's quite funny because your side's probably the less mechanisms to wrestle with, the easier to play. Yeah. But it's actually harder to win with is what I've read. I don't know why the they grapevine. would even bother making a game that's unbalanced though. Like... Well, it depends on how, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I don't know, but that's just all anecdotal. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if anyone's ever taken stats on it to have a look at it. So, all right. So, um, do I want to move into the area with the fog? Probably not. I'd rather just sit there because you're in trouble over there. I'm actually happy to just sit where I am. I'll let you come. Okay. Oh, no, but you got the blunderbuss. So, you can sit there and snipe me. So, I better move in. All right. So, I'll move. My Do you get six defense in there as well? Yeah. Okay. So I'll move that guy in there. And he'll roll three attacks. I've been rolling nothing but sixes, so let's <laughs> see how I go. Nah, that's a complete dud. All right, I'll re-roll with my frenzy. And more duds. Okay, now the question is... Do I want to move the other guy in there as well? I'm just going to be taking it to you now. You kind of have to run just, yeah. through me now. So. No, I'm just going to be attacking you. Yeah. Because these are all one life. So I've got one life on this guy left. Yeah. The other guy's got three. Yeah, I mean, like, once they're... Is this guy, once he's dead, he's out? Or is it just... Uh, he, he, can, he can come back once. Okay. But the, the hellhounds yeah, are all. out permanently. Yeah. Um, I think I will... I think I will move in. Oh, no, I better stay where I am. Wait, hold on. So I did the... um. I'll just move one troglodyte in there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. All good. So I'm just going to move that last troglodyte into yep. there. And that'll do me. Cool. 
I felt one of them was dead. I'm gonna move him off to the side. Three sixes. Is that actually good though? <laughs> uh, it's not bad. I it's mean, good in combat. There's two more cards as well. It's bad in combat actually. All right, so he'll go. He'll get the charge ability. So the, this warrior gains plus two attack if they engage in combat after having moved at least one tile. Yep. Uh, he'll get the. He'll get that, which is the warrior gains plus one uh, attack, move, and shield if at least three of their lines of activation are, can are cancelled. So I'm assuming right. he can't go past six. So. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm already here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I can't get seven defense. <laughs> uh, that's fine. And then... It doesn't matter, actually. You technically do have seven defense, but a skull says it always hits. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, right. Cool. And then... Can I use another card for this guy? Or? It's one card per guy. Okay, maybe yeah, per turn. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly the same though. Yeah, I'll use that card. All right. So we'll go with uh, <laughs> this guy over here. He'll do an attack. So what, what's your... The brave defense? leader who's just been hanging out by himself but the whole game. If he gets to this here... Yeah, you can go that way, which is something I considered. But yeah. 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 Um, so what's your defense on the normal guys? Oh, they're just on uh, defense three. Oh, wow. So I've... Good chance, but not guaranteed. Yeah. You can just move away as well. You don't have to kill him. All right. <laughs> Would you roll one? <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. All right. But no, I can't move away though, can I? Yeah, you can because oh, okay. you're equal numbers. I'll just go there. Yep. One. And then I will... What's his other move again? So he has the... He's. You've done your once per game. Yeah. And then the other bless. one's just... The other one is just those powers on your board. That's so weird though. Why would the other one just be two powers? What's Aura of Courage? Yeah, I don't know courage? why they bothered to put that in the game. It's quite strange. It's but weird, but it's yeah. like, what is Aura of Courage? Oh, what does it do? Yeah. Yeah. So if you trigger that, it gives someone a bonus, I, I believe. Uh, choose another allied warrior. Doesn't say it. You can be anywhere. They gain plus one movement, plus one attack, and plus one defense until the beginning of their next activation phase, preparation phase. No, but then is that the one that heals? No. No, okay. It's well, similar to the one that heals, but okay. it doesn't heal. It just gives a bigger buff. All right, I'll, um, I'll use that on... Uh... No, no, no. You have to actually roll that line. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did not do that the first time we played. <laughs> oh, really? No. I uh, mustn't have noticed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so this guy will go first with the blunderbuss. So he only gets to move one. Yep. I want to make sure I try to kill this guy. So I only need one hit. So he gets one, two, three. Uh, this is where he gains the ranged attack talent. This is where he gets plus one. So, yep. so it's four dice. So one, uh, two, three, four. So yep. I just need one hit. Yeah, that should be manageable. If I get one, if I don't, it get is a one, six you need though. If I if I don't get one hit, this uh, the universe doesn't want me to win. <laughs> there you go. So no hits. Oh man, that's brutal. All right, um, but I can still I can move out, can't I? If you've got movement left, yeah. Well, there's no point. <laughs> you can move uh, into here if you like. No, and then I get a card. Cool. And then uh, this guy goes, so he's got uh, two dice. Mm -hmm. No. Wow. That's a lot of dice for no hits. And then he get, also gets a card, which puts me back up to four. All right. Cool. That's end of my turn. I think you're in trouble now. It was looking good at the start. Well, it's, this that is dead not... end just screwed you. Yeah, well, two dead ends. It's yeah. like I'm so Well, unlucky. the first one was almost okay, yeah. but the second one... And the fact really that unlucky. I don't even get an extra car for the treasure chest, it's like... This first, <laughs> this, first, this first scenario is not a good one, I don't think. It doesn't make... You want... The problem with it is it's very simple, but it's not necessarily easy. Yeah. So it, it feels it's a bit rigged. off. <laughs> yeah. Rigged. Um, all right. I don't actually need to summon anything. So what am I going to do? I might just take Frenzy just to kill you even harder. And I'll take some money. All right. So I'll trigger Frenzy. So that means my troglodytes can reroll. All right. So all these guys are going to pile in on him. And I'll just do all their attacks at once. So I have six defense. Yep. Cool. Now I have Frenzy. So that's one hit. And I'll reroll those. Yeah, one hit only. Cool. Okay. So am I stuck with these guys now? Yeah. 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 Because there's too many of them. Unless you give yourself evade. 
yeah, which okay. you can do through cards. Yeah. All right, this troglodyte's attacking. Does nothing. Nice. You'll re-roll it. And nice. do nothing again. This is what I'm hoping for. Maybe I can just kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I just stay here for a few turns. That's the Hellhound will turn. attack your uh, Blunderbuss guy. And do nothing. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have a frenzy, that guy? Uh, no. Okay. Only the troglodytes this round. Oh, okay. Um, I guess... I've got one more guy I can move in. I'll move yeah. my hunter in. And I'll go for your wounded guy. Because yeah. at least I get four attacks on him. Two hits. Two hits. Shit. He's crippled. Uh, I'll go... It gets tough at the end when what you've got like... Do I have? Yeah, you got to sort of work out what you can still actually use. Excellent. I am screwed. You're in, <laughs> you're in a world of hurt. Uh, uh, these cards get... This the card. problem you've got, right? I've got so much materia built up that even if you get through these guys i can still just summon a heap of stuff yeah. so which is why i think it's weird that you can spawn and then move it's like what other game is like that yeah but you couldn't do anything if you couldn't do that so you, these guys have evades so I, I could go one because pretty right? much all my guys only have one movement mm. so if i couldn't spawn and move i'd be completely useless all right my turn i'll do my roll of three one two three Question is, can Blunderbuss solo the mission? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can move through, right? Um, yeah, he's got yeah, he's got evade. So those guys can all just ignore all of these. It's only this guy that stops them. So you can actually run through at this point. I might have made a mistake there. Now that I think about it, I probably should have kept more guys on with him. I've given you a chance inadvertently. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this guy can't even move this turn, though. Yeah. He gets no treasure chests. Like, that's <laughs> even helpful whatsoever. But this guy will uh, have the evade talent. Oh, elusive. nice. You did so have it. Elusive. That's the same thing. Yeah. Right? Sorry, it's elusive, not evade. But yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, you can actually pull this off here. I can probably get it. Might, might be able to get a draw. Yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're just so close to the exit, so... Yeah. Interesting. No, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be close. I could give this guy the bodyguard talent. I might do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that way yeah. he can take some he can blows take some hits. if I decide. All right, and and uh, that's that's it Cool for me. So he'll go first. So he uses his elusive. Yep. And do you want actually, to attack before you move? Or uh, yeah, I might as well attack. So it's one dice. Yep. That's one dead. Yep. Four. And then I'll move one. That's the tile. All right, so there's some nastiness in here. Oh, probably another slowy. That's an egg one. So move your thing up. So this is your you're one off, right? Yeah. yeah, the next one you explore is the... Um... Well, I'll have to make it to the next turn. <laughs> well, I think, I think you're in good shape. The Infernal <laughs> player can always bring troglodytes in on this tile. They do not need to take in count restrictions concerning a tile with an open or empty. So it's a spawning pool. You just That's walk. pretty cool. That's right why I have happen to have this guy has two moves on that yeah, one. Yeah, so you can. So, so you go to the exit tile then. Yeah. But that means next turn I escape, I right? I think you escape straight away. I'll quickly. Well, let's check. have a look. So when a Western warrior reaches the exit tile, they are removed from the game. So demon warriors cannot enter the exit tile. So you, yeah, he's out. Okay. So, so you've so at least got a tie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It was doom and gloom. Do you want to put the tile down? Yeah, yeah you've got it. That's the actual oh, turn marker okay. is the tile. So I quite like how they've done that, actually. It's kind of clever, yeah. Oh, wow. That is badass. Yeah, yeah it's pretty clever. I like it. That's really cool. So there you go. You made it out with the... I uh, didn't see it last time. How funny is this from the point of view of the Redeemer? He's gone wandering <laughs> off by himself. His teammates have all gone <laughs> off and gotten killed. And he's just gone, oh, well, whatever. I'll just casually stroll out the exit unscratched. I'm redeemed. Excellent. All right. So there you go. You've got to tie at least. Now you're playing for the win. Oh, my God. How? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get the win, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah. So you've got two guys left to use, right? But yeah. one of them can't do anything, he's basically. So but if I move him there, he loses his six... Defense, um, yeah, defense. He, yeah, he's very likely to just get piled on, but he might get out. I mean, what other alternative do you have? Kill a few first, and then move and out. Then move. Yeah. So I'll do that. So this, so we've got a draw. So you're nervous now. You're yeah, like, that's it. Now I I'm can't a, win. 
Now I'm, uh, now I'm on the hot tip. Uh, so so all, that big diatribe I went on about how it's so hard to win with the human players, we're about to nah, find out. It was, you know, it was. Um, I got lucky once. The only lucky part is that this wasn't closed off. Yes, correct. I got two dead ends. I mean, yeah. <laughs> bullshit. All right, so um, <laughs> that's so funny. Cool. So we'll go uh, blunderbuss guy. He's got yep. his blunderbuss. God, they did not want to help this guy at all <laughs> trying to redeem himself. <laughs> so he only has two attack plus one. Yeah. So Are you uh, attacking the square you're in? Because you can shoot into the next one. Uh, I oh. mean the guy's got defense five anyway, because he's the tanky one, but No, yeah, I'll just I'll just uh, yeah, um, defense five. So I'm I'll attack this guy here. Yep. Try and finish him off. Um, he's that dead. was three sixes. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> wow. So if you'd hit that guy, you would have killed him straight up. That's all right, man. I got to wow. play the. I got to play the long game. You yeah. know, I got to. That was definitely playing the percentages, no question. And then uh, this all guy right. just stays put. One hellhound is dead. Yeah. So you're up. Okay. Oh, it's a bit deflating now that I'm playing. Ah, uh, I'm just playing for the draw. Wouldn't that be funny if we drew? It'd be one win for me today and two draws of uh, uh, yeah, the other true. two games. Yeah, the other played. two games were draws. All right, I want to take. Am I going to take frenzy again? This tie will really save my life because it like got all the attention here. Yeah. And I just. <laughs> I had a backup plan in case someone snuck through, but you had two movement and, and, the, elusive. and the elusive skill, so there was nothing I could so do. So lucky. Um, all right. I'm going to take Frenzied again, I think. Well, oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, yeah. And then I'm going to whack... Uh, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? That's hilarious. I'm going to move an, ager uh, an enemy warrior to an adjacent square. Oh. So this is your badly damaged guy. I'm going to move him to there. That's good. That is good. Um, and I'm going to play a tough troglodyte in that square as well. So he's just a better version of a troglodyte. But the interesting thing about him is he can spawn under no summoning restrictions. Okay. Um, so I was hoping if he did manage to sneak I through, I could just drop one yeah, straight on you. Yeah. Was, but uh, yeah, uh, that did you pay out. his money? Do you have the no, he doesn't oh, cost okay. anything. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So now I will I will summon as well. So I'm going to summon. Um, I'll summon five more troglodytes. So I'll put three in the spawning pool, and then I'll put two here. All right. See if you can get out of that, buddy. <laughs> I'm happy with the draw, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was out of nowhere, so you've got to be happy with that. Oh, he's going to move in, and he rolls all the dice. Yeah. So that's six dice. And I only need one hit, right? Yeah, so yeah. he's dead. Yeah. All right. And then my tough troglodyte will take a crack at the blunderbuss guy. Blunderbuss man. So he just has one attack, but he does have the frenzied talent. What's your defense? Well, it's... Six. It's higher than a one. Oh, yeah, he's in the fog. <laughs> yep, so he does nothing. And then my other troglodyte will do his attack. Actually, I'll move. Yeah, I'll move this guy in. Let's see he's going to pot shot. I'm just going to do last defense here forever. <laughs> nope. A five doesn't hit you, does it? No, it's six. I'm That's six, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So nothing. All right, stand there with your blunderbuss forever and hopefully kill the entire <laughs> keep the entire forces of hell. <laughs> yeah, like just reloading it slowly. <laughs> All right, is that it? That is it. Well, you can move this. Oh, we can't. No, just, yeah, I filled yeah. it up, but I want him to stay there and block you off anyway. All right, so I got. Oh, this guy's. I have one dice left. Oh, you know what I might do? I might just move that guy. Oh, right, yeah. And oh, that yeah, yeah. Do that. Um. Yeah, this is. The, I have one dice to roll. So yep. this this guy's gone. That's just the condemned scout left. At least he's at full health, though. That's a four. All right, you can play a card, and then you can just go. Yeah. I will play I Stand Alone. This warrior has a defense of six if they're the only Western warrior present on the tile. And now you can make a run for it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All so right, let's see how you go. I can so just you've, got a, you've got elusive, so you can just move out of there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so I just go one. Now you lose your elusive talent in that square. Oh, okay. Because so of I the hell stay here. Yeah. Did not foresee that. All right, cool. So, oh, I could shoot it first, right? You can, yeah. So, so if you clear out two troglodytes, then you're actually in the clear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So I'll do that. So yeah. I can just go. It's only one. It's only one attack, though. So yeah, but you've got no, a blunderbuss. So yeah. I need to get. Uh, there are only three. Uh, so three defense. Even the better one is the yeah. tough one. 
So there's just two normal troglodytes in here. So, so if, if you I get go two threes, you're actually clearing away. Four and a two. So it's oh, just one. unlucky. That's all right. So he's dead. That's something. And then you can move out. Yeah. And then you, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Put one step closer, card. I guess. I had one more card somewhere, I think. Did I discard it? Yes, I did. Yep. All right, cool. All right, so that's you done. On to my turn again. Yep. <laughs> so I have six defense. Yep. So bugger all chance of me doing anything here. Well, but, oh, and that's right. You can only put one more dude in here. Yeah. Which would probably be that guy. I'd yes, it will be. Wage. Um, all right. So I don't even know what I want to do. I guess I'll grab three cards and I'll grab some more cashola. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't help me at all. Damn. Yes, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm just pulling out straws here. All I need to do is move two tiles. Ah, oh, that's brutal. No. <laughs> All right, move an enemy warrior to an adjacent tile. I'm going back. You're going this back. Way? You're going back. I'm not going to put you in the open. Come on. What do you think? Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, I'm back to six defense. All right. So I guess I'll just summon another troglodyte in that square now. Um. All right. So this guy is going to move out. He's going to attack you. What do I do? Well, can he move out? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, because there's more than of you guys, yeah. So those two will attack you and then move out. Nope. Um, so this guy is going to move in and attack you. So he gets... You. Oh, you're not wounded, are you? No. Oh, yeah, he gets one attack then. So maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll first I'll do the tough troglodyte. Nope. Alright, so then I'll move in a normal troglodyte and attack you. Nope. <laughs> this is what I was hoping this for. This guy and attack you. <laughs> nope. Alright, so I'll just pile more guys up. And then that's me done. Cool. You're living somehow, I don't know how. The fog is your best friend. What's that, a five? <sighs> God damn. <laughs> I feel like this video has gone a lot longer than what it surely yeah, should have, absolutely. but anyway. All right, so we'll go five, and I will use uh, Vigilance. This where he gains plus one. Defense. Defense. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I'll actually go... I'll shoot for this guy here. Oh, no. I'll shoot the Troglodytes, these two again. So it's two. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do... Oh, no, I can't. It's too late. No. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll use my attack for these two guys. The same tactic. Yeah, I same strategy as before. So two fours. Got him. Now I'm lucky I can go one and two. Two, yeah. Oh, you're almost up. So I just need to live and then move one. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. You're in good shape now, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, I can move my hellhound in and, give, and remove your evasive as well. Elusive. Oh, as fair well. enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So... I gotta roll my dice. Right, I'll take frenzied, definitely, and I'll take three more bucks, which I probably won't end up using. Oh. Should be one of them. I'm cardless now too, so oh, boy, apart from I that. still feel like I can get you. So, what's your defense at the minute? Uh, four. All right, so these three guys are going to attack you. Oh. Do you want a frenzy or anything? Oh, yeah. Another hit. Oh, Jesus. It all comes undone at the end. And then they're going to move out to here. This guy's going to come in and attack you. Another hit. <laughs> this guy's going to come in and attack you. Oh, missed Star Wars free roll. That's another hit. Bloody hell. <laughs> That's good. So this guy's going to move two. And, and he, gets he gets one, two, three, four, five dice. This is for the game. It's ridiculous. And he hits you like 
four times. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a draw. Yep, it's a draw. It's just that was that was so close to being a win for you. But it's just like it's just the constant downhill for for this team. I just I don't know. Yeah, it's, it, it it's is like so that. Tiring. My my team just sort of builds over time. And your team starts off, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm the boss. Yeah, I'm going to kick everyone's butt. And then really, really quickly, it gets really tough. But that's the thing, though, is that you're not really that strong to begin with because, uh, one, you don't have any cards, really, unless yeah. you roll you roll lucky. And two, like, it there's, comes down there's to the no dice one to it. attack when you're strong because <laughs> there's no one on the board. So yeah, it's yeah. like... It's really... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why this game's as popular as, as it is, unless... I it's think it's... Just, um, so... When this game came out, there was nothing like Gloomhaven that was like a dungeon crawl okay. that didn't just have straight dice chucker mechanics. Right. This was sort of an in-betweener, and that's why it was very, very prominent um, at the time. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, it's just sort of... I think some of the other scenarios will get a bit more interesting. Yeah, in but one. like, it, it only gets worse for, for me, really. Like, this was the this was the only thing that was lucky the whole time. <laughs> you, made, <laughs> you made the most of it. So. Yeah, fair enough. No, it is a cool game, for sure. But how do you do a campaign? Like, So there's, there's no campaign in this? Yeah, it's but scenario what, by scenario. But just say I was like, yeah, I, I want to play, keep playing as these guys... If, if the next oh no, it's not that sort of game. If the next five games, well, in the next we, scenario, we draw or lose, draw or lose. It's like for these guys, it's like why would you keep playing? In the in the next scenario, you have the same guys, but they have different equipment. And then yeah, the scenario after that, you have a different team, pretty much entirely. Okay. So, so there's a little bit of difference. Yeah. All right. Um, let us know in the comments uh, what team you're rooting for, because <laughs> we'll probably keep as these characters. I'd say these teams. Yeah, we might as yeah. well play the yeah. same. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, again, if you've made it this far, make sure you subscribe because obviously you like us enough, or you've accidentally left the video running in the background. <laughs> but otherwise, both ways are good for us because we get the the watch time. <laughs> um, until next time, thank you very much for watching. See ya.